Congratulations, you did an outstanding job in this, really. And, you know, this is a, a big story. Mm. You're telling a huge story, mm -hmm. um, which will, you know, touch a lot of people in the world. Mm -hmm. Were you a little bit intimidated, or what was it about it that you thought, I really need to do this? Well, Bonnie, there, there are sort of many attractions for me to do this movie. One, one is Kevin Reynolds, um, a great veteran director. The narrative, which, as you say, is, um, is, is epic and, and dear to so many. And as you film this kind of narrative, you, you have to tread cautiously. And our producers and our writing team have worked diligently um, with ministers and the church to, to make sure that there is a sensibility and a respect of scripture. But at the same time, we have an epic movie in, in the best cinematic way possible. And the hook for me is really seeing the story unfold through the eyes of a non-believer. And th this is kind of unusual. And for me, it allows you a wider audience to enjoy it. Um, it doesn't polarize one camp in that it's not revisionist. And it doesn't polarize the other camp because it's too Sunday school and conservative. Um, so it allows us to really relish a wonderful story that's full of themes. You, we could talk about faith or we could talk about redemption, but there are themes that I think audiences can take away, believer or, or not, yes. um, in, in the story of Christ. And, and Clavius's journey is so heart-wrenching. It mm. is, because mm. you really feel for him, like, the whole time, right from the beginning. You know, really? Was, yes, Even I did. Even as he's putting people to death. Okay, yeah. but you, you yeah. kind of fell from him, like, <laughs> I don't really want to do this. Right, like, right, I, I don't right. know I got that from you, you yeah. know. And plus, you know, a lot of it was shot in close-up. Mm. I mean, it, mm. you did a great job. Was it uh, a tough... One of your tougher roles to do. Yeah, it, it, it was tough, and the, and the big challenge was, uh, apart from the heat and the sort of dusty locations, but the, the big challenge was, uh, you know, um, was, was, was bringing an authenticity to Clavius um, and, and taking the audience through a journey of a non-believer, a brutal Roman soldier who's pretty savage and uh, surgical when it comes to fighting. But I, but I also felt that he was, uh, he's in the industry of death. He's almost bordering on post-traumatic stress. I think he's saturated. He reeks of death. So he's a, he's a man probably at the end of his military career. He's a man that's ready for change. Um, and, uh, in, and that's a big sort of subconscious kind of dialogue within him. Um, and this sort of rabbit hole of an investigation deconditions him and then we have an irrevocable moment where he's his world's turned upside down um, so he, he goes on a big journey and it's, it's lovely to take the audience through tell that. me about your scenes with, with Cliff because I, I, from what I understand you guys really tried to keep apart on the set and just to 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 make it that it was special that you would have mm. a special scenes with him what was it like to work with him and you know just playing off to somebody who's playing Jesus for goodness mm, sake mm, I know <laughs> I, I, it, it was um, it was great working Cliff I, I, I adore him and we're on speaking terms now just to make that clear but uh, I think it was a natural thing it wasn't it wasn't sort of talk talked about or designed in any way it just naturally occurred between two actors I, I felt when I'm on set in front of the camera or not in front of the camera I'm kind of always in the same zone um, I'm in Clavius zone and so if Cliff would walk past me I, I wouldn't sort of I wouldn't acknowledge him I, I mean, d in a way that actors might or it's all about I think um, preserving a, a, an atmosphere, a chemistry, a tension, um, and saving it for the camera. Or else you can quite easily get into shooting the ball and dissipating the energy, and when you come to shoot it, the scene is empty. So the first time that we, we truly met, I think, was on the rock, and the first time we ever spoke was when we were on the rock in that scene, and hopefully, just you, you only get it for one or two takes, and then it's kind of gone, but but that's what we, I guess, subconsciously as actors, were, were striving to maintain, that, that sense of um, chemistry.